What's up you guys? It is February 4th, 2019, 9.36 p.m. It's not 37 degrees, don't worry. It's about 28, 29 degrees. Um, I need to say a big thank you to uh, Chad Slaughterbach. Chad Slaughterbach from Los Angeles, thanks bro. I appreciate your $20 donation, Holmes. You are the man, thank you so much. I'm glad that what I do can actually help you out. That means a lot to me that I'm really able to provide safety for you guys because uh, I know it can, it can be kind of white knuckling it coming up here. So um, thank you for that, I appreciate it. And uh, dude, I, I'm gonna keep on doing my best to make you proud. I hope I can continue doing that. Thank you very much for the confidence and the 20 bucks. You are the man. I am so grateful, man. <laughs> it's just awesome. Um, and uh, Esmeralda. Esmeralda, last night I got sent uh, $5 via my cash app from Esmeralda. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, guys, I am super, super, super grateful for you guys. And uh, I just want to say thank you. And as I said before, I'm not going to let you guys down. I'm going to keep busting my ass and making sure that I'm up for all these storms. Haven't missed one yet the whole time I've lived here. So we'll see. So we shall see. So anyway, right now we're driving into Moon Ridge. And thanks again. Very, very important. Thanks again. Um, we're driving into Moon Ridge right now because I'm going to a friend's house who I met on this channel. He's up here visiting and I just closed up shop for the most part for the night. So I was just going to come by, give him a hug, tell him I, I love him, hello. And then I have to go because unfortunately I don't get cell phone service out here. And uh, even though I'm technically closed down, all the homies know they can call. So, um, yeah. And unfortunately I'm just a workaholic. Any opportunity I have. Mile, turn left on Silver Tip Drive. Volume. Voice command. Say a command. Volume down. Volume is at 80%. Volume 50%. Volume down. Volume is at 70%. Volume down. Volume down. Volume is at 60%. Exit. All right, guys, so we are almost here. We are almost here. Turn left on Silver Tip Drive. So we're driving into Moon Ridge. We're, we're about to start to go up in the upper Moon Ridge. We're beginning the trek up. Look at this straight ahead. That window's broken. Some Somebody threw something through that window up there. Can you believe that? So it's snowing inside that house right there. That's just such crap. That's just such crap. It's a vacation home too. That's just ridiculous, man. Take the first right. Okay, so we gotta take this right here. Uh, we can't get loose right here because it's on a slope. We'll slide into the, the corner. Or that, yeah, there we go. Yeah, buddy. Seriously, man. Chad and Esmeralda, right thank you guys. Then low drive. Why would it have said turn left on Menlo Drive? Guys, this is just like we're going up to a... Uh, um, What's it called? One quarter mile. Uh, arrive at 832 Menlo Drive on the right. Okay. 832 Menlo Drive. Wow, they really did get a place up here a bit. That's cool. Woo! Gabriel Alvarado. That's who I'm going to go see right now. They live in Catalina. How cool is that? 
How cool is that? As a kid, we used to go over to Catalina all the time. My my uh, golfing friend Bob Black um, owned the Catalina Flyer till about ten years ago, um, and he he still consults for them and stuff. But it was it was his boat, and every time I would travel over from Newport to Catalina, I would just have to to pay tax, and it was always like three or four bucks or something back then. It was great. Okay, what's arriving the... at eight thirty two Manolo Drive on the right? Is this it? Does that look like 832, guys? Uh, um, yes, it does. Oh, gosh. I hope we're going to be okay parking right here. I don't want to like, crash in, into their cars here. That would kind of suck. Wow, dude. Maximum occupancy, 15 people. This must be a freaking mansion, guys. Dude. All right. I'm going to shut it off. Hey, you guys. You're not going to be able to tell, but... I'm in Upper Moon Ridge at Gabriel's house. And, uh, dude, this view is absolutely insane. We're like eye level, like three quarters of the way up there. Um, and the clouds are just right freaking like at eye level as well, straight ahead. It's just unbelievable, you guys. We are way up here. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And this place is so beautiful. Wow. Hot tub. This is bad. Look at that. Dude. Out. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna drive them all to Domino's real quick to get food. Peace out. Nah, oh, dude, it is a winter wonderland for sure. All right, guys. So I got Gabriel and the homies with me. I'm driving them down to Domino's because I don't want anybody to be driving in, in this weather. It's, it's just not worth it, especially when I'm really good at it. Might as well save a life, save some time. So helping the boys out and uh, yeah. So uh, we're just we're just cruising. We are just cruising. We are in Upper Moon Ridge. They got about what five inches up here? Four inches? Yeah, five inches? No, at least five. At least five. Yeah. Yeah. Over by uh by the dam a video I did a couple hours ago. They have like six, seven inches of snow here. There's a lot of snow over there, like a lot. But every snowstorm, that part of town gets the most snow. And all my videos, they reflect that every single time. And you know what, remind me, um, what I'll do to save us time is, is I'll drop you guys off at Domino's, look at my gas, yeah. I'm completely empty. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. We are too many gas. Okay, okay. I think as long as we make it to the street, we'll kind of glide down and <laughs> find some change. In the Just make sure you give yourself extra time, though. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's not worth it to fuck yourself up, you know? We're sliding around. We're going to go eat at uh, Blanca's, the breakfast place. Wow. <laughs> We're sliding around. Yeah, it's just fun. <laughs> so, do you ever eat at Grizzly Manor? Yeah. We ate there last time, or uh, two times ago. The big old pancakes? Oh, dude, dude, I get the chocolate chip pancakes yeah. every, every time yeah. I go there. And my friend Mike and my friend Christina both work there as servers. Which one? Uh, the, the skinny one that, that's uh, married to the Christina cook. looks like a, a rocker. Or, or had, had a baby with the cook. I think this, that's the rocker one, right? Um, Does she have a couple kids? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That matter. She is so cool, man. She, she like, liked my necklace because it was a little devil in Oh, oh, cool, man. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she's like, why the devil? I'm like, well, every Mexican who has Jesus. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know where I'm at now. Oh, yeah, see? Thank you, though. Thank you. Yeah, there's a double it's... little evacuation. Though. <laughs> <laughs> then when you come up, it sends you up that way. Yeah, yeah. And that way can get pretty treacherous because yeah. it's very narrow and, and, and the roads kind of slope a bit. So when it gets cold and icy, it gets really dangerous. Yeah. So straight ahead would be the golf course. Um, for those of you watching, would be the golf course. And uh, yeah, down here they didn't get nearly as much snow, probably three inches of snow down here. My house in Moon Ridge only got about three inches of snow. Um, they said it was supposed to snow this storm like a foot to a foot and a half. The last one we were supposed to get two feet, we got two inches. 
Like, dude, like, like every time, right? Yeah, we were here for that one too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, and then you were here for those last year too. Yeah. When we when we had a huge like just it was supposed to be like the storm of the decade, and it <laughs> rained the whole time, the whole time. Yeah, and I was I was working at Bear dealing with a lot of angry customers. But can you blame them? No. Just to spend a lot of money. Remember the last day? The last day I saw you. Well, actually, like the last time we kicked it was uh, an instructor that just passed, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Dude, that was so sad. That was so sad. She was like in her seventies or her eighties, and and she, and she she actually wasn't teaching right then. She was there with her family yeah. just skiing, and someone lost control and like clipped the back of her ski while she was skiing and she went over the side right into a tree dude dude yeah like and 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 the crazy thing guys is that i was riding the bus a week before that from where they make the employees park with her and talking to her because i'm like wow she's she's old you know like she's a freaking ski instructor so i was just like you're such an inspiration this is just so awesome how many years you've been doing this and she's been doing it for years and years and then a week later, like this somber mood falls all over Bear Mountain, and then we all find out that that lady died, um, and her kids and husband were there, man. Like, like, dude, like, that's just so sad, man. Like, life is just so, just it's fragile. Just, man, yeah, it's fragile and just full, full of pain, bro. Like, like, it sucks, dude. Gotta, gotta make the best of everything. You only you know, once, because you know we're all served that quintessential shit sandwich on this planet, yeah. and it's just all how we, all how we deal with it, dude. Like I, I've been to nine, yeah, yeah right now, <laughs> nine rehabs for me, dude. Two two sober living homes, like, like it's it's it's. I haven't had like anything special. I've been locked up in those rehabs for over five years of my life and stuff. Like, like yeah, it's just there was nothing special there. You know, but every everyone has issues. Yeah, but do you feel like those like the rehabs actually like really really work or? Because um, some people have said the last yeah. one I I went to yes, and um, they all had the same message, but this place was able to relay it to me to where I could actually understand it mm-hmm. and soak it in. Um, it was relatable. One. Yes, yes, and I I understood it, and it was the first place that wasn't hospital walls and totally sterile. It was a place that cost $120,000 a month that my health insurance, I, thank God, paid for it. I don't know how because I, I, I didn't have really good, really good health insurance, but I paid for my own PPO and uh, it paid for it. And was they, it, and they, it that passage, what was it called? The, um, the Hills. Oh, the Hills. Okay. Yeah. And like, I was the only one who wasn't famous there. Yeah, dude, it was, there were 11 beds there and I was the only one who wasn't famous. But why, why I was able to, I think, absorb the message there was because um, the the owner said, look, I'm manipulating you guys with this big, beautiful place at the top of Mulholland and um, and uh, um, what's that? Uh, anyway, at the top of freaking Mulholland right there, um, just 360 degree views of Burbank, Palos yeah. Verdes, Orange County, just amazing pools, private chefs for all of us. Um, everything was just five star. He said he 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 did whatever he could to manipulate us to at least come in the door and then allow yeah. him to allow that that comfort to like kind of help out yeah, because yeah. dude when you're struggling with drugs and alcohol and you're put in a hospital and stuff and those yeah, sterile walls dude it makes you freak out more bro this place was like heaven on earth like it truly was like every meal is cooked for you by a five star chef my five star chef was on season 5 intervention um, oh, 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 oh yeah, dude. My roommate, um, and okay, I guess this is, oh, you know what, anonymity, because this is press or, or radio and film, um, because it's anonymity, you know, at oh, the I level of YouTube, right? press radio. Yes. Just, just say, disclose your okay. guys, cover your ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close, earmuffs. close your guys. Yeah, earmuffs, <laughs> earmuffs. So Lenny Dykstra, okay, yeah. one of my all-time favorite baseball players, and and then I and then I I switched rooms with this kid Indio. And I didn't know who he was. His last name's Downey. I didn't put two and two. (laughs) I didn't put two and two together, right? So for the first two weeks there, this kid's loving on me because like everyone else, I guess, knew who he was and just like him for that. And uh, I didn't know that he was Robert Downey's kid um, until like two weeks later. And 
he told me that's why he 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 really liked me. And look, we're getting like blizzard conditions, guys. Yeah. Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. So yeah, there's um, Indio Downey, Joe uh, Joe Torrey's um, maid, um, who who who's like Alice from the Brady Bunch. He put her up there. Okay, I gotta get over her. He put her up there. Um, let's see. Uh, That's crazy. My first An celebrity experience was actually Anthony uh, Kiedis. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, oh oh yeah, dude. Yeah, and his promoter. Um, and then. This kid whose whose grandpa started Saks Fifth Avenue. What? Yeah, dude. Like, dude, it was just crazy. The the type of people I was around. I went to a speaker meeting where Eminem was the speaker. Like, dude, like, what the hell, dude? This was all fucking Beverly Hills. I'm sure most of those people do not get sober because they're not there to be sober. They're there to just intertwine with yeah, all, yeah. all the Stars. Yeah, dude, yeah. Yeah, and ruining it for everyone whose lives are really on the line. But anyway. We're gonna shut off this uh, vid now, and I'm I, I'm gonna go get some gas, and I'll yeah, be right back. Sure, okay. You got it, brother. All right, guys. Look at that, please. I apologize. I should have done that first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. These guys are so cool, man. Gabriel is the one in the plaid pants, uh, in the middle right here. He is. He's. That's my boy right there cool as hell man Gabriel Alvarado and my other good friend <laughs> Gabriel Magana I met on this channel too just so freaking cool man just so freaking cool uh, okay I can shut this off for a minute but we just drove through like a little blizzard up here it was like a f for five seconds <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 